Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 3220 thumb turn only with blank plate type deadbolt. So this obviously consists of a bunch of different parts. Let's go over it now. That's your inside thumb turn. Very handsome, large thumb turn. Here's the blank plate portion. This is what would be on the exterior. So that's the exterior face. That's the interior face. Okay, here is the latch bolt. This is a grade two lock, meaning that it is standard duty commercial. It's universal, two and three quarter or two and three eighths. Comes most likely set at two and three quarter. To change it to two and three eighths, you pull this pin here that you see on both sides, you pull it up. It's a bit spring loaded, and as you lift it, you can push the inner housing in so that rotates over to the two and three eighths setting. Okay, it's going to be an inch and an eighth wide by two and a quarter tall on the faceplate. So keep that in mind when you are um, considering whether or not it'll fit on your door. Meaning the width, inch and an eighth, that's also typical an inch and a uh, one inch as well. Two and a quarter is going to be standard. So you've got your thumb turn, your blank plate. You've got your latch bolt. Obviously that all communicates together. So where people are going to use a lock like this is going to be in a situation where you've got a an access door that goes off to an alley. Maybe it's a loading dock door, something not handicap compliant, something that needs no access from the inside. You might be removing a lock that's been continually tampered with and you could very easily install a one-sided thumb turn and blank plate sort of deadbolt just to close off that hole and to prevent any sort of tampering from the outside because there's not much there to get at is the point. Now, strike plate's going to be included for the frame. That's going to be two and three quarter tall by inch and an eighth wide. Two and three quarter by inch and an eighth. You're going to get, or behind it, an armored backing plate that is for security and strength. And you're going to get your screws. And it's just typical material. You need two screws to go through the lock and hold it together. You need these really long screws for attaching the strike down securely. Then you're going to have four of these smaller screws. Two are going to be for the latch bolt. The other two will be for the strike plate. Okay. But these larger ones are for those real long screws to bite back into your, through your jam and into your studs. This uh, thumb turn only with blank plate is available from Hager in several different finishes, brass, stainless, oil rub bronze, etc. The 26D uh, part of the part number specifically means satin chrome. Okay, One inch throw on the latch, which is very typical for locks like this. Okay, One inch projection. Typical 2 and an eighth inch hole that this is going to require at either a 2 and 3 eighths or a 2 and 3 quarter back set. Uh, there are links below this video to the installation instructions and those are by the way included uh, with your lock when they come. They serve as a template and really instructions about how to go about prepping the door for it. Uh, if you have any questions on the mortising part feel free to reach out to me. They're, it's something that I know very well. Um, wood door prep, that's going to be a template for specific wood door applications meaning or, and then a metal door prep meaning if you're having a door manufactured your uh, door manufacturer will say, send me the template. So you send them one of those templates, depending on what you're doing. And then there's a link called uh, Exploded View, which is really nice because it is a parts diagram of all of the constituent parts that make this lock up. And um, what's really awesome about Hager and these locks is that you can buy these replacement parts only. For instance, it's not unusual that someone needs to buy part number two, the thumb turn only, because it's been vandalized or whatever the case might be or unintentionally broken. Um, without going into all the details about mortising a, a wood door for this or prepping a metal door, you know, feel free to reach out if you need uh, a little bit of uh, extra uh, information regarding that. But otherwise, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to use this Hager lock at all. It's The latch bolt is really the business end of a lock and it's quite substantial itself. This latch bolt probably weighs as much as the rest of the lock. 
It's a really nice, nice uh, hardened latch bolt. Hager is a full line manufacturer of uh, all things uh, lock related in a variety of different series. Exit devices, door closers, uh, weather stripping, trim and auxiliary hardware like uh, door stops and kick plates. But of course it's their namesake, Hager Hinge. They're a hinge company first and foremost. A comprehensive offering of all things architectural hinge related and residential as well. Any questions on the Hager number 3220 thumb turn and blank plate only style deadbolt or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.